Hi, James again here from the 11 Plus Tutors. Um, here's a video to do with division. It's really aimed at people just starting out, maybe younger kids, maybe year four. Some kids in year five need um, some coaching in this respect as well. So let me just talk about long division. It's something that us adults vaguely remember from way back when, when we were taught at school before we started using our phones to calculate things. You may remember this. Um, we're going to start with basic bus stop division here. So bus stop means the shape of this, the way we, we just format the problem. So, so we've got 4, 1, 1, 3 divided by 3. This is how it's laid out. So I would say to kids, the number on the right hand side goes out in the cold. So it goes outside the bus stop. So what we say is how many times could we fit 3 inside 4 without going out. What's the maximum number of times we could do that? Well, here we could fit it in once, but there will be a difference of one between what we've actually got here, which is one times three, and what it should be. And what we do is we carry. So we carry the one over, and we put it next to this. So it becomes um, threes into 11. So the maximum number of times we could go into 11 with three without going over, is three. Now three times three is nine. Uh, the difference between nine and what it should be is two. So we carry the two here. Threes into 21 go seven, and three into three go one. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, and here I've not really gone into long division. A long division is just to do with layout. And the main reason we use long division is because when we carry, things can get quite difficult to squeeze in between. I never force kids to use long division. This is just showing you what it is. And I would say, if you understand long division to kids, you should use it. It's a really good layout tool. If you don't really get long division, don't worry too much. You can always squeeze the carry in between. It's just a layout thing, that's all it is. Um, some kids get freaked out by double digits. Now it's, it's the same process, exactly the same. How many times will 12 go into one? It doesn't go, so we carry the one. How many times does it go into 11? It doesn't go, so we carry the 11. So it becomes one, one, four, we keep carrying. How many times could we go into that? Now, nine times 12 is 108. Now, I'm gonna introduce now the layout technique. So what we do is, if we look up here, it's divide, multiply, subtract, and then drop down. So what we've done here is we've done the division bit. Now we multiply, nine times 12 is 108. Now we find the difference. That's what the carry is. So it's six. And instead of squeezing the carry here, we put it down here and we drop this number down. DMS drop down. It's just so we've got more room. That's all this is about. That goes in 65 times. So it's just a nice layout technique. Um, so 13s, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know my 13 times table. Some kids do, most of us don't. How many times does 13 go to seven? It doesn't carry it. So what we can do is we can, in fact, I will say to kids, if you get a number above 12 and you don't know the times table, it's really useful to get into the habit of maybe making an estimate. I'm gonna say, I reckon it's around, you know, if it was three times 13, three threes and nine, one three is three, that's not enough. So we might say, well, let's try four, four times 13. That's 12, 52, that's not enough. So we say to kids, you know, you could do some experimentation. That's the closest we're gonna get, isn't it? Five times 13. And I think getting kids to experiment is actually something they're testing, in the, definitely in the CSSC 11 plus, this idea of trying things out. I think it's really good practice for kids to do this. Um, so we've done the divide bit, now we do the multiply bit, so five times that is 65. Remember, we're laying it out like this. Then we do a subtraction. What's the difference between what we've got and what it should be? Eight, drop this down, is 80. So let's try six times 13. Sorry, six times 13, 18. 
that's the closest you're going to get, isn't it? 6 times 13 is 78. If we did 7 times 13, it'd be too much. So it's going to be 6 times. Then we do our subtraction. So we do our subtraction again here. 78. What's the difference? It is 2. Drop this number down, 26. We could squeeze the carry in, but we're going to drop it down as it goes into that twice. So the answer is 5, 6, 2. I'm raising this because um, this has come up this week with um, a number of kids. Um, and while I, don't, I definitely don't force kids to learn long division, it, def it definitely helps. It just takes the pressure off in terms of layout. I hope you found that very really useful. I look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.